Hello guys, it's been a very long time since I've recorded the Let's Play Plus lore. I'm still planning on still having a little bit of lore mixed in with the Let's Play, but I do now have lore videos going up, so I think I said that probably in the last episode. I'm sorry if this is repeat. It's been a very, very long time since I've done the Let's Play. I just tested the mic a little bit because I got a new mic and it works fine. I can hold my breath during the cutscenes and you won't hear me. The only thing awkward about it is it's a little bit in the way of my monitor, but that that's just me not having a setup yet. So here goes nothing. Let, let's uh, continue on with the Let's Play Plus lore. Oh, also, please tell me if you want me to up the difficulty because uh, normal later on gets way too easy after I get the correct gearing going. So. If you guys want me to up the difficulty, I will. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Commander! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean, exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. All right. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might. If your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. There is no authority until another Divine is chosen. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. I'll make sure they see reason in Balroyo. I pray you're right. I love the politics in this game, especially given how much with the Chantry it is, and the fact that you can play any race, practically any race. Ah, I love the politics in this. I don't know how many com companion conversations I'm going to be doing. I'm planning on just running through the game quickly. So we'll see as we go on. The work of our maker's hands. From the lowest slave to the highest... The carrier don will have more positive for the injured as soon as possible, revered mother. The Inquisition cannot remain a matter. If she can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Master Lavelan, this is the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How do Elion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, Trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. 
If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I apologize for the intrusion. I didn't realize you were meeting with the Marquis. You did little harm. In truth, the debate was most beneficial as practice for those to come. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. All right. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. I love Maneve. As a character. Thank you. I am actually gonna go change my character's face. Yeah. In a bit. Alrighty. I get my first Inquisition point. Arcane knowledge. Uh, do I want arcane knowledge? I'm going to be going for a lot of the knowledge-based stuff because that is actually what my character would do. He would acquire knowledge over anything else and then worry about bolstering the front lines. Sure, let's go with that one first. I will also upgrade the potions. Yeah, just so you guys know. Potions are important, too. Sends greetings. Attention of the mother of Christ. Okay, uh, I need to be careful with the Lavella and stuff just because of the fact I do want that one done. I, it's probably one of the only missions on the table that I will try and get done. Especially since I'm aiming for Liliana and not the other two to become divine. Sorry for the spoilers there. What? I don't want you to threaten my clan. Some Liliana. Let's see what we have. Oh, right. So. Okay, yeah, that's the Black Emporium. I don't need a companion for the Black Emporium. It's kind of pointless to go with a companion to the Black Emporium anyways, because they get removed from your party. Ooh, the creepy removal from the party. The only reason I'm doing this is because his features will bug me. antagonize Chauncey the Tiny Bear. He may be small, but he nips. <laughs> oh, love that guy. His chin keeps doing something weird, and I see why now. Uh, it's the size of the chin. There we go. It's a little bit better. 
I was trying to make them exactly like I had them beforehand, but that did not work. The uh, character you guys sometimes see in the background of other videos is the one that he's supposed to be too. It just didn't turn out the same. Not sure what happened. I guess it'll have to do. Maybe. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that didn't waste too much time and you guys aren't too annoyed. Back to Skyhold. It doesn't matter, they're gonna get removed from the party either way. Why do you keep asking that? I know why, it's <laughs> just <laughs> me, me being funny. All right, now on to uh, the next stage of the mission. Unless... Went the wrong way. That's a much nicer staff. That's right, I got... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, where did that staff come from? No, I, I, I remember where that staff came from now. It was just... spacing. It has been a very long time since I played this one game. How many people are going to die before this is over? All things in this world are finite. What one man gains, another has lost. Those who steal. All right, let's go to Valdario. What is my level, anyways? Ah, oh, whatever. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. 
I think I'm level five. The city still mourns. Just a guess seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord's Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people? From us? We knew there would be some kind of reaction. But I didn't expect the Templars to make an appearance. The people may just be assuming what the Templars will do. I've heard of no concrete plans. You think the Order's return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know, Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are... Delayed. As you say, my lady. Ah, beautiful city. Beautiful graphics. Hmm. So I, I am going to be collecting all of these because I do get plus 50 XP now from all codex entries. These aren't codex entries, but they're pieces of lore, and I always collect them because it's XP. Free XP! I don't have to do anything for it. Except for click my F key. Sometimes I sit and read all of these. I'm going to try not to do that. As I said in, I think, a different lore video, I mean a different video, I will do uh, the songs. I will read out loud the songs. Respect the Duke. <laughs> That's almost like the uh, Vir du Thera that you find in Vir du Thera of the Codex that says All hail Elgernon, first among the gods. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Not quite as bad as that one, but... Oh wait, that was a song, wasn't it? I can't re-click on it. Sorry. Stand wary, guardsman. The Inquisition is here, along with the Herald of Andraste. This Inquisition is heresy. You will not look on my doubt. Okay. Good people of Val Royo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart, silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold. The so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no help in our hour of need. Oh. 
We came here in peace, simply to talk. And this is what you do. I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. You're not here to deal with the Inquisition. As if there were any reason to. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Templars! One of your own commands the Inquisition's forces. Join us as he did. <laughs> a staunch and loyal member of the Order. So loyal, he abandoned them for a false herald. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way. We should first return to Haven and inform the others. <coughs> he is a very nice man. Yes, very nice. I don't know if I'm going after the mages or the Templars yet. I'm still debating, I guess. Ever since our Excuse divine me. was murdered, toothless old fools are lost is without what her. They're saying, Rhea? What are the Grand Clerics the doing while the mage circles the hole in lie the empty? That's what we're attempting, yes. No one is doing anything. The Chantry is useless, and the Templars... Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but... If your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you and not me. Well, he is... The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. Such a kind gesture. So early in the game, a free agent, if you know, to talk to her. Yeah. She 
seems change is a What's that? An <laughs> arrow with a message? <laughs> okay, I've only played this a hundred times, not literally a hundred, and the arrow just literally scared me half to death. <laughs> okay. A, match a message is attached, written in a large, flowing hand and broad bordered with doodles. Oh, that's so Sarah. <laughs> People say you're special. I want to help and I can bring everyone. Huh. Okay. My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? We should question. Not now, when. Down that road is darkness. We have never been alone. We cannot be alone. But even our Templars forsake the light. Even they? All right. I forgot to talk to this nice lady over here. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics are scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. Are you the Maker's Chosen, as so many claim? To tell you the truth, I don't know. That is more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. There's got to be a way to calm everything down and clean up this mess. I hope against hope that may be the case. As do I. So this is really random, kind of. I've been doing a lot of research on the ancient age and the ancient elven empire, Elvenon. So, Elgernon is seen with symbols of the sun, generally, during more ancient depictions of him, not the depictions that the Dalish do. And we have the Chantry, which is depicted with the sun. I wonder if there's any relation between those two things, or if it's just because the sun is a very holy symbol in and of itself. Eh, it's just a food for thought. Not really a theory video worthy topic, just food for thought. Because Eldrinon's Velaseline, the markings on the face of the Dalish, is actually more like vines, I, I suppose is one way to put it. So. Let's look around. Yeah. Up and over I go. I've spent way too much time in Val Royale if I know how to get that piece of lore already. Yeah. So once I hit level 12, we will be going to one of the expansions to level up as well. Um, hopefully I can get two levels during the first two levels of that expansion, because otherwise we have to leave and redo. Fun part. Not of heroes. Oh, this is about Matharath and the sacrifice. I've never actually read this. The center of all creation. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Distracted by lore. I have actually read some of the lore. As 
the gardener watches the earth for the first signs of life. Oh, uh, over here. It's like, that's right. One more. On his parents and on to I the think maiden. that's it. Why not? Okay, we have Viv's quest to get. If I actually called her Viv to her face, she would probably hit me. I believe that mess. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. Ha, <sighs> Vivian! You are cordially invited to attend my salon, held at Chateau of Duke Bastion D. I can never pronounce that guy's last name. Uh, oh, there is one more piece of lore that I always run past and I remember to the get the next time I come. Hey, it's another respect the Duke! <laughs> Hail Elgernon, first among the gods! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just be randomly saying you that. Trouble for anyone. I just need to go up one level. That's all. I'm innocent. I swear I'm innocent. I think it's up here. Maybe I should actually check the journal for that one. I'm in the upper market. And I'm on the wrong side of the upper market. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Try doing that from memory and it does not succeed very well. Okay. I'm gonna go get, sadly, Red Genie first because she's closer and it doesn't automatically port you back. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Fiona! Oh my god, Fiona! Okay, hopefully they don't start randomly talking. Actually, I'm gonna pause. Fiona is and has been one of my favorite characters since I read the book The Calling. Now, this isn't very apparent, but Fiona is a was once a Grey Warden, which is actually explained, who ended up losing the uh, calling because of the fact it was forced upon her early. It's all explained in the book, The Calling. She and uh, King Merrick sleep together, and she has a kid with King Merrick, who is actually Alistair. Yes, that was actually confirmed. And King Alistair was one of my favorite characters back in the Origins game, and Every time I see Fiona, I, I just kind of have this little, in, in this game, like, oh my god, I remember reading this book, it's such a good book moment. <laughs> okay, on to getting Sarah. Ah, I can't wait to get Barrier off of Solace. You are not my Barrier Mage. Also, I can't wait to get rid of Eric. Which is ironic, because I run with Eric all the time in Dragon Age 2. Well, they know who I work for. Oh. 
Oh, wow, my damage is so lacking. Make uh, could be because I'm not standing behind them. Hey, why are you attacking Solus? That's not nice. Probably should have seen that, especially since I don't have healing rings yet. Okay. And I did just talk over their dialogue. I'm really sorry. Errol the Vandraste. How much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is the... Ugh. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... And you're an elf. Well, hope you're not too elfy. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the herald thingy. Some believe I'm the herald of Andraste. But who are you? And what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. <laughs> Cheeky, yeah? Okay, Cass, please get that guy off of Solus. Thank you. Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste. You're a strange one. I'd like to join. Well, how about we get to know each other first? You know, names and such. One name. No, wait, two. It's... Well, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> Then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some house boy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have merchants who buy that pish, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. Okay, I am totally doing 
uh, the conversation which is the companions. It is so hard not to laugh when talking to her. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, for now, Varric, because he's geared a little bit better. Breaches. <laughs> Too many breaches. <laughs> okay. Oh, word play. I wonder who actually wrote that scene. I actually need to look up who the writer of Sarah even is. I know uh, Patrick Weeks did Solace. I mean, wrote Solace. He, he wrote Solace. <laughs> No, I'm not going there yet. I'm going here first. A little bit more important. Master Lavellen, on behalf of the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtesse of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected. And very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end, or to win back a modicum of self-respect. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. 
As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. <sighs> it's like holding breath. Holy breath! Okay, so I probably won't be going to the mages. I will still do the first part of the mages storyline, but I won't be going to the mages and with themselves. I'm going to keep to what I have planned for this character in and of himself. If I don't end up with the plans to get who I wanted for Divine, I will just redo it. That's my plan. I already did the nug. Yeah, I already did the nug. <laughs> Wonder, do I actually have enough materials to make these? I do. Oh, one of them. <laughs> Plus eight flanking crit damage, crit damage. Where the eight crit damage? I cannot smell all of a sudden. Yes, I did just name a dagger to see. I go on for the full Durthanen theme. I'm not actually getting there either. <laughs> it is the full Durthanen theme. All right. I am definitely traveling with Vivian. Okay, um, <laughs> that doesn't show a lot of skin. Well, <sighs> like I know I can't wear light armor. Oh, I actually have enough for the vestments of the pure already, except for I really hate the way that armor looks. I know this is actually the best armor in the game, but only if I play Nightmare Mode do I actually really care about having the best armors in the game on the characters. And this is obviously normal mode, so it's not something I need to worry about. Don't have enough for that, though, which is the best one right now. That doesn't look really bad. Canine mother, mother is cold resistant. Range defense. Sure, let's go full on defensive. She's not my tank, though. Do I have enough left for gloves? I do. But only gloves. I don't think I have enough love for uh, boots. I don't. Okay. You might be gone off back. I am no longer a mage. Even better. I 
don't think I actually have a weapon for her, do I? Because I sold it. Nope. Fine. Do I have enough to craft a weapon for her? That's the real question. I do not. That also requires cloth. You need something? Let me know. <laughs> this is why I don't play a mage anymore. Everything requires cloth. <laughs> And yet, I still always have two majors on my team. Yeah. Makes perfect sense, right? Ugh. Worried? Is it that obvious? I'm afraid so. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. You didn't have any choice. Didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. I'm curious. Do you even believe in the Maker? I can't really say. I suppose it doesn't matter now. I have to believe we were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now, it simply remains to see where it leads us. Mahavir is kind of an interesting character. I should probably write a fanfiction about him at some point. <laughs> you there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. I just hope I can help. As do we all. It is enough that you would try. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. I must have this mark for a reason. It will work, I'm sure of it. Provided we can secure aid, but I'm confident we can. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. You understand our situation? I appreciate your opinion. Look around. Our people are well organized and committed. Despite what the clerics think, we are in the best position to help. <sighs> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander. Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. <laughs> All right, off to another character. I know there's more conversations I can do with uh, Cass and Colin, but for now, let's get the conversations out of the way with all of the characters. Especially since I think I need to get the Red Lyrium quest still from Merrick. Needs 
something? The red lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered red lyrium during an expedition in the Deep Roads. We located an ancient taig, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and, well, everything's gone downhill from there. So what is it? Just another kind of lyrium? The red stuff is lyrium like a dragon is a lizard. It's not just a different color. It has a whole host of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it came from. What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid, and then it does creepy shit. Makes things float, brings statues to life. I've had a few alchemists studying it in Kirkwall, in shifts. Why do you have red lyrium? My brother kept a sliver when he sold it. I'm pretty sure he held on to it because it was already talking to him. That little shard drove him mad. After his death, I found it hidden in his house. We brought the shit to the surface, Bartrand and I. I wanted to find out if there was a way to shut it up. So far, it looks like the answer is no. If Red Lyrium is as dangerous as you say, why do you keep it? I've heard that shit singing to me. I know better than anyone how bad it is. In Orzammar, miners keep regular, non-crazy raw lyrium in special lead-lined containers. Actually, it's a huge secret how they're constructed. Keeps surface folk from horning in on the lyrium trade. I pulled a lot of strings and got a smith to build me four of them nested inside each other. Nobody gets to study it up close for more than an hour, and they have to wait a week between shifts. I think that's enough on red lyrium. Yeah. Not really my favorite subject. Yep, okay, there we go. I don't blame him. I still get chills whenever I think about that quest. <laughs> Nightingale's eyes. Oh, good song. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. So, this is it, huh? Oh no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> Hear that? I meant the stronghold, but it sounded like... Well, it's funny, right? Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. I'm pretty sure the Conclave proved it's not that easy. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Why? Because someone yelled it real loud. Make them prove it. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. That's why we're here. To help guide everyone back from the brink. The religious ones tell you that. That's important, right? But don't make it all about that. Seems like believing too hard is what got everyone here. And here is stupid. And smells of horse. Really, what everyone needs is to get everything back to normal and proper and profitable. Sound good to you, all chosen Lord Herald? I'm ready to give it a shot. That's all I can ask from anyone else. I'm in. It's an investment, yeah? Better pay off, too. Stupid war and everything. I had things to do. Moments like this, I wish I was playing a female. I'm, I'm kidding. Right now. But Sarah is one of my favorite characters. I just never have her in my party. That's kind of sad. Chasing the Lord Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. That's your first clue to a total ass. Fact. What? Why, why would I want to take that option? No! You apparently have a lot of friends. Tell me about your network. It's not mine, right? I mean, it is, but it's also everyone. Everyone who wants to shove it to nobles who hide behind gold and silk. 
and hats, I guess. Is Red Jenny real? Or was she always just you and your friends? I don't know. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, Red is scary because blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't guess at them. Numbers, right? It don't have to be so complicated. Seems like it should be more complicated than that. That's why you be bad at it and why I'm here. You don't want to play, don't play. That's simple too. Are you just about pranks and revenge? Or is there more to it? Well, it's a weave, right? I grease a ballroom, so a wizard chasing git has to hunt spring. Strangely, handmaids leave his vault open. His heirlooms pay off someone else. Maybe clean streets in Kirkwall, so someone gets something else. Pish, pish, pish. A lot of people eventually get help or a laugh. Or maybe someone dead, if they deserve it. I'm glad I met you before someone decided what I deserved. You're no hate for last so far. I I'd just get you with a pie or something. Anyway, assassin's a bard's job, innit? No fun, that lot. They might plonk a noble, right? But only to raise another. Plus, I'm shite at singing. Where are the people you promised? If I knew, they wouldn't be much use. That's sort of the point. Look, unless your baddies are rocks or trees, they have people they use. Cooks, squires, wipers. Yeah, I know, wipers, right? You better believe the one with wipers deserve it, right in the... Well, anyway, the little people will be there when you need them, in a million little ways. So lots of little contributions add up in the background, like snowflakes that snap a branch. What? Uh, sure. Like snow, I guess. Anyway, it just works, most of the time. Friend of a friend and little hints. Mind you, you still have to be smart. Don't bet your life unless you're into that. To be clear, I'm not into that. I can play along if it works for you. You have a choice. Hey, all the Inquisition. <laughs> we'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? <laughs> I actually never did that in Investigation 1, because I normally just skip right ahead to the next thing of the story. Okay. <laughs> she did not get the metaphor. <laughs> or I skip ahead to talk to Solus. As I explored the Fade, I felt the presence of an intriguing artifact in the Hinterlands. If you are willing, I would like to locate it. I have marked its location as best I could determine. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Oh, so I do need to head back to the Hinterlands anyways. Which I knew I needed to do anyways, because you need to be a little bit higher of a level before the next story step as it is. And I would like to be level 12 to go to the, uh... Have you seen Enchanter Vivienne? That's the picture of oh. the circle made to be. Vivienne. No. Such a noble is arrogant. It is not arrogant to be unafraid. Thank you for the reminder, ladies. So I think this is going to be the next story step. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. We had to do something, and now we have an opportunity. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. 
Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. Or you could stop bickering and make a decision. I agree. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. So it'll be dangerous. I've been in danger since I walked out of the Fade. If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. That does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. I love Liliana so much. Oh. She has to be my actual favorite companion from the first game. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot tell you guys how happy I was to see her return. I met an elven mage earlier. Solus, I believe he was called. I admit I was surprised. I didn't expect to find mages among the Inquisition. Tell me, why were you at the Divine Conclave? If war is the only solution to injustice, then so be it. Do you tell that to the victims? That their suffering is all the more meaningful because it is for a great cause? I'm sure that makes everything better. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Sadus. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. I'll try not to let them down. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford, my dear. For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. Once this is over, the task of speaking for the Maker will be the Chantry's problem again. That's reassuring to hear. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. Yeah, okay. The reason why I chose that option that was a slight disapproval is the one that I know is the great approval also helps make her divine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Vivian is great. She gets along with this character generally really well. Unless I choose that choice and she disapproves. Yeah. Yes? <laughs> I don't think with the romance options. 